It's going to be a quick second thoughts on the Helion Invictus. Um, I took it to the track today and it actually did pretty good. I uploaded a few videos of the truck running. Um, the only issue that I have is, like I said before, is the battery tray. This is actually an 8,000 milliamp uh, 2S LiPo, and you see it's pretty difficult to fit it in there, but I got it to actually stay in here pretty sturdy so it wouldn't fly out. Um, the only other thing that I've seen with this is that as I was running it, um, for the second pack, it did overheat, so it did shut down. That's just on a 2S. So the only flaw I would say that this truck really has is one is the battery component, which you could actually dremel this out and put a new one in there. And I think that just the system is okay. If you're running nickel metals or maybe a 2S LiPo that doesn't have more than 5,000 milliamps, 25C, but if you start going to 40, 50C, 2S LiPos, more than 5,000, you may see an issue with it. But you see the truck is pretty good. Um, it runs all right. I haven't had any problems. It didn't break at all. Um, I did crash it a couple of times. I did crash it actually last night as well. But so far, so good. Um, that loud noise is the fan besides the music in the background. But thus far, for about 300 bucks even, this truck is pretty good. Um, recommend do upgrading to a LiPo pack so you can get the full potential of it. And later on, if you want, as with any truck, you may want to upgrade um, probably more or less the motor because the motor does get hot. I got it to about 160, 65 degrees, and it got to about 200 degrees on a 3S light bulb. Look for probably one more video. I'm probably just going to bash the heck out of it to see what breaks.